dear diary. Thankfully, I've been able to turn things around after that wee rough patch of form we hit last time I did an entry. Thanks to going from an attacking to positive mentality, we have won our free league game since being knocked out of the Irish Cup over Dundella, Ards and the Bully Clear Comrades. Our new centre-back signing has also helped us look a bit more solid defensively as well. That sets up a big pre-split matchup away at Lockgall as we are joined on points with them now. We should already be guaranteed of entering a promotion playoff at worst, but a win here could give us the edge in the title race and for the automatic promotion spot. We don't want to have to worry about our season being ruined by some team in a one-off game, so we're going all guns blazing into this one. Until next time. and welcome to episode 16 of FMOE here on Sean Does FM with Bambridge Town. I hope you are doing well and coming up today yet again. It's a top of the table clash this time at Lakeview Park as we take on Luckgal yet again. This is the final time that we are going to play these guys before we do head into the championship relegation split and it's fair to say we should be both in the championship group for that one. So if you're looking forward to today's episode then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video and if you haven't done so already and are enjoying this series here on the channel also remember to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on as well it is greatly appreciated but thankfully we have been able to turn our form around a little bit off the back of where we did leave things at the end of yesterday's episode if you missed that one i'll leave a link to it in the top right corner not an unexpected defeat but off the back of what was happening previously it was a little bit disappointing off the back of that we just got away with things there against Dundella at home. And off the back of that, I just felt we might benefit from being a little bit less gung-ho in our approach. Because of that, we did change from an attacking mentality to a positive one. And as you can see, the results in our next two games have been a little bit more comfortable. 3-0 at home against Ards, including a goal to our new signing in Ben McCann, who you will see in action in this upcoming game. And we also picked up a 4-1 win away from home against the Bully Clear Comrades, and that included a hat-trick to Stephen McCabot, who even put one away from the penalty spot. We have been training him for that, a tribute off the back of our penalty taking, being a little bit iffy last week for a little patch, but thankfully his penalty taking has gone up from, I think it was a 2 to a 4 in terms of the attribute, so he's getting a little bit better at taking those penalties, so it's a little bit less of a concern these days, albeit still as a squad quite a big weakness if we do go to a penalty shootout it is fair to say confidence is not very high but yet again we are taking on Lockgirl in a top of the table clash it was the obvious game to come back for and that was because of how this table does look at the moment we've jumped back above them thanks to those three wins in our last couple of games and are back above them as well thanks to quite a healthy goal differential which could prove important come the end of this season but as mentioned it was the obvious game you're going to get used to watching these guys potentially a little bit this week. And with this one being away from home, it might be a little bit trickier than when we did last take them on at the start of this week and did pick up a 3-2 win. But obviously, these are the two teams who with five games left off the back of this in the regular season and then another five once we do split the table into the two groups should be in the title hunt with 16 points further back to Portadown and 21 points back to Dugview who are outside of that playoff spot so it does look like at the very worst we should end up in a promotion playoff match against the third team in this division this season but hopefully we can seal the title and make sure that we do not have to worry about that and sit back and see who else might get the chance of joining us in the premiership this season if we can wrap up the league title but Lockgall have had a very very good season they've picked up one more win than us but have also picked up a few more losses so it will be interesting to see how things do get on here away from home they did beat us in the first round of games this season which was away from home we bet them just the other day at home so based on that Lockgale might be the slight favorites heading into this one but hopefully especially with that addition of Ben McCann at center back we might be a little bit more solid defensively going into this one 
and we can pick up a result here away from home and that is our only change to the previous best 11 so it does look like a slightly stronger team these days with Audran Ferry dropping down to the bench and also off the back of yesterday Jay McDowell is back in there up front after not being able to play against his parent club and will come back shortly and hopefully hold on to top spot here on the championship table as we take on Lockgall from Lakeview Park. And five minutes into this one, we have our first highlight as a frame for Lockgall. Yet again, they are in the blue. We are in the red. That's a loose touch there from Higgins as we do take on the 5 2 3 today. They're going with quite a narrow formation up front, but they do still have the five defenders and the two DMs as well. So, quite a defensive formation, albeit it does look like it's working quite well at this level. Good chance there for Jay McDowell, but unfortunately, can't quite beat Turka past his near post. There's the first decent chance of the game. Still nil all coming up to the 10 minute mark. And a few minutes off the back of that first highlight, we do have another here. It's a free kick, which McCann is going to take, but Mellon will win that one in the air. And luck goal here do get a chance to play out from the back. Healy with a ball over the top, but Snodden does win that in the air. We try and link up with McCabot, but unfortunately McGuckin does get a ball over the top here. Good chance for Core. That is a big chance. Thankfully, comes off the base of the post and we clear that one away. So a good chance now for either team, but still nil all. Just past the 20 minute mark and right off the back of me trying to wrap things up. We are down the other end here for a from. We try and put that ball in the mixer for McCavitt. It goes and clears out for Cowan and then Turka takes that one off the back of a deflected cross, I believe that would have been. And Turka will pump this one deep. Thankfully, Stonin does win that ball as otherwise we might have been in a little bit of trouble. And as we know, those are the balls which defenders can miss quite a bit in FM23. Now, Cowan, nice ball over here for Conway. Just in behind the defenders. And McDowell there has got a very obvious push in the back. And here's a chance for McCabot to step up from the penalty spot. Like I was saying before the game, he has been a little bit better from penalties lately. And thankfully, he does send the goalkeeper the wrong way. Actually, one of the better penalties taken by a Banbridge Town player this season. And about halfway into this first half, we do grab a 1-0 lead McCabot with a pretty solid penalty there to give us a 1-0 lead. And that is half time in this top of the table clash. Thankfully, we are in front. That is because of that penalty which McCabot did put away. We are slightly edging things as well in terms of stats. Obviously, the XG helped out massively by that penalty. But at half time, I am quite happy with how things are going and all of our players are on decent ratings as well. So no changes needed. And hopefully, we can hold on to this lead in the second half and hold on to top spot on the championship table. And there's a highlight very early on here in the second half. Higgins with a throw in just inside of the opposition half. McDowell finds McCabot, but unfortunately, Little there does get a foot in for Lockgale, but we get a chance here to play out from the back. OG Gallagher will try and switch that one out to Rob, but it's a really poor ball, especially when McDermott was there in a ton of space and it has been caught out massively as Liam Kaur gets in behind our defence and just off the back of half time, it is Lockgale who do grab an equaliser here at Lakeview Park. There you can see that poor ball from OG Gallagher and there you can see me circling around McDermott who was in a ton of space call there. Too much pace for Snodden and that error from OG Gallagher gives Lockgale the chance and they take it to make it one all. And we're just about to get into the last 20 minutes of this game. The second highlight of this half is a throw. And this time OG Gallagher though does get the ball back for us. Conway will pass that one back for Higgins. Looking for McDowell, but unfortunately they deal with that safely there. Do Lockgale and Turka here will get a chance to pump this deep. And they do potentially get in behind their nice flick on from Carr. For one of the other strikers, didn't quite catch the name, but thankfully he blasts that one over the bar. But it does look like a good chance here for us to make a few substitutions, players on yellow cards and average ratings. The theory can come on for Snodden on a 6.4. We'll bring on Turley for Cowan on a 6.6 .6 and a yellow card. And also Conway only on a 6.4. Connor McLaughlin can come on for him. Three subs used at the 69 minute mark and still locked up at one all. And immediately off the back of those substitutions taking place, there is a goal kick here. For Lock Gallon, that's a bad missed header there from our defenders. McGuckin will try and take that around the goalkeeper, but thankfully, Ferry fresh off the benches there to clear that one away. We get away with danger there, and it is still one all with 20 minutes left. But it's fair to say, Lock Gal certainly having the better 
of the second half. Long shot there from Kelly from outside the box, but thankfully that one goes high and wide and still one all. And we're just about to enter the last 10 minutes of this game, and I think it's time for us to make another substitution. McDowell, not in great goal scoring touch today, isn't playing badly, but is down to a red heart. So I think we're going to give Kirk McLaughlin a chance here off of the bench in place of McDowell, and hopefully that just gives us a little bit of an edge here up front in terms of fresh legs for the last 10 minutes or so as we try and look for a winner, albeit a draw away from home, not the worst result with the table the way it is. And we've just entered the last five minutes of this one. I think we're going to try and press on here. It might be something that I do regret, but Sam Robb on a 6.5, we might take him off and see what we can do with Bradley Maguire being an option off the bench. And also, we are going to go to a ticking and just see if that does help in the latter stages of this game. I know I've been a bit better lately on that positive mentality, but we certainly did score quite a few goals when we were on that attacking one, so hopefully that might help us out here in the dying stages of this game, still locked up at one all. And very shortly off the back of that last change, it is a throw in here for Lockgall, right on the halfway line. McGuckin does get in behind. He gets brought down there, though, from our captain in Higgins, and unfortunately, it is a penalty. And here's a chance here for Lockgall to take all three points. Norton with the penalty. It's a very weak one, but unfortunately, Hunter can't quite get there, and that is a dagger blow late in this one after we got a penalty in the first half. They get one late, and they put it away. It was a very weak penalty, but he did place it quite nicely, and it does mean there are four minutes of added time here, and it is 2-1 luck, girl, and that is how it's going to finish. I don't think going attacking had much of an influence on that penalty given away, so I don't know if we can blame that too much. But a bit of a disappointing collapse from us there in the second half overall. Quite an even game, but as you can see, Lockgall certainly had the better of things in that second half. We kind of didn't do much in that half, and it does mean that we are going to be three points behind them yet again. So they do look like quite a good team, this Lockgall outfit. But hopefully, when we play them again next in the championship phase of the season, it will be at our home ground, considering we have had to play them twice away from home so far this season. So there could still be a chance for us to pick up a result, which does get us on even terms in those head-to-heads with Lockgall this season. But for now, we drop back down to second on the table off the back of a 2-1 defeat away from home. So a bit of a disappointing collapse there in that second half does mean that we lose 2-1 away at Lockgall, and that does mean we drop down to second on the table as you saw before, and that is with five games left to go before we do go into the championship group, which we definitely are going to be in. So with that in mind, I think for the next episode, unless something mad does happen in between now and the end of the season, with the fact that we are pretty much guaranteed to be in that championship group and pretty close as well to securing a spot in a playoff game as well at the very least, I think the rest of the game that we've got this season not too interesting, Dergview potentially, but I think what we might do to try and wrap up this season before the end of this week is come back when we do potentially get a chance to do something in that championship group phase of the season here in the championship in Northern Ireland. And it'll be interesting to see. Hopefully, we get a game against Lockgall at home, as I said, having played them twice in this season away from home so far. So you'd think based on that, we will get a tie against them at home and that could be very important as we do try and close that gap on them and try and gain automatic promotion to the premiership instead of having to go through a couple of playoff games so if you did enjoy today's episode then do remember to go down below leave a thumbs up on the video and if you haven't done so already and are enjoying this series here on the channel also remember to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on as well and until tomorrow as i said probably for a game in the latter stages of that championship group and then something does happen in between now and then which makes things a little bit more interesting on that table thank you very much for watching keep on keeping on and i'll see you then cheers